welcome to MGP 520. I'm Kevin. With me this week, we have Anna and Pab. Say hello, boys and girls. Hello. Hello. I said I wasn't going to do the boys and girls bit anymore, didn't I? But I can't remember what I was changing it to. So I guess we're, I guess we're going back to boys and girls and we're, we're staying with that forever now. Let's Thanks. face it, without our resident social justice warrior here, I can go back to the old way. <laughs> that, that's, that's what it actually is. He's off throwing paint at someone's birthday party, presumably, this week, or whatever he does in his free time these days. Is that what he's doing? I imagine so. I don't actually know why he's not here. He sent a message. I don't know. I, 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 with, this is um, official staff meeting. We'll, we'll record it rather than taking minutes. Um, the three of us are present. Um, he sent a message yesterday saying, remember, I'm not on next week. Does anyone else Did anyone else check if he'd ever told us before? I think he's just figured out if he says the day before, remember, I'm not on. That's just a cover all gets out of it. Doesn't have to tell us why, because none of us remember that he's not on and none of us mm. were checking. No one knows where he is. Does anyone know where he is? I'm asking him. No, don't <laughs> ask him. Don't ask him. No, we just rather speculate. Yeah, he's doing some kind of social justice warrior thing, I imagine. Yeah, he's he's on a just a he's got he's chained him yeah, he's like chained that, himself yeah. to a tree, <laughs> and I don't know, holding a placard with something spelt wrong on it. I don't, know, I, don't, I, don't I, I genuinely don't know how he spends his free time now, but I imagine it's something along those lines. But yeah, I've got no idea where he is. I know me and him are not here next week because we're at Pokemon Go Fest in London. Um, unless that's this week and I'm supposed to be there. I haven't seen any mention of it on Twitter. If that's no. happening right now, I'm supposed to be with him and he's not chained to a tree yet. <laughs> he will be before the night is over. Um, but yeah, that's that, so he's, he's somehow managed to arrange himself two weeks off. What a, what a rascal. What a liberty. Goodness me. You don't see me having all this time off. Yeah, it seems odd. It's disgraceful. Odd. Have you had a reply from him, Anna, or is he properly skiving? Not, not, I, I, I'm not. I mean, we know full him. well he's perennially on the internet, so if he, if he's, he would reply instantly unless he's got something to hide. So I yeah, think we can only he, assume he he's got lurking, something to hide. He was lurking in Discord. I saw, I saw he was on mobile Discord before looking. Yeah, absolutely. Over there, it wouldn't at over. all surprise me to have him pop in the call just to hear what we're saying and then pop out again without saying anything if he's not got a <laughs> microphone with him. That's the sort of thing that you could expect from him. But uh, yeah, as you as you may have gathered, boys and girls, no sheepdog this week. You're welcome. I mean, um, go on, could, Pappy. He could, he could be drowning his sorrows after his triumphant PlayStation purchases. <laughs> suddenly see all the prices crash that's why he's not here because he doesn't want us to laugh at him yes because he finally i mean how long has the ps5 been out now three years three years he bearing in mind host of a very successful roaringly successful video games podcast um kind of does need to be up to date with video games and that kind of thing and uh, the rest of us all got got them at launch multiple in our case <laughs> uh, you know we've we've, we've got mm -hmm. load, loads of these things lying uh, around as well. yeah so we've between the three of us we've got five yes. but he he held off for three years finally bought one and oh my word it was the the waffle that you got on the podcast about him buying one was just the tip of the iceberg. Just imagine what we had to go through while he was agonising over his buying decision. But he finally took the plunge and bought himself a PS5. And what happened next, Pabby? Uh, I, I don't know what's... I don't know what that has happened, but suddenly they're at least £85 cheaper <laughs> right now. And I don't know whether it's just a limited time thing. But it's a, it was a, it was initially one store was doing it, and then Amazon matched it, and then pretty much everyone else just yeah, matched game, Amazon. I saw game today was I think yeah. it was like a hundred quid. Yeah. Off, and I was like, mm. I mean, wow. There, there was rumours they were saying like clearing stock for a, for a slim model at the end of the year, possibly. I find that baffling but, that they. I mean, I don't think I got the memo when they were finally back in stock, and now they're clearing stock. Uh, how long have some, they been easily available for? Uh, probably about a year or so. Maybe. Really, it's not Goodness easily me. in stock, but they are readily available. Okay. Um, but the the Spider-Man one went on pre-order. 
and that's that uh, that went on order today i think or this week and that's just a normal ps5 so that would probably scupper any ideas of the probably being it possibly being a slim model because why put the old model out with a spider-man three skin years it? three years seems a bit early for a slim one no it's about right is but it yes yeah, so if, if, if it's only a slim one if there's no if there's no refresh on the innards i guess then i don't I see forget why not. just how enormous it is i've just glanced over at it. it stood next to the xbox s and it really is stupidly big isn't it so mm-hmm. i guess it is probably due uh, and uh, even just taking off those silly wings would make it easier to fit in a cabinet if it didn't have the what the color yeah, on it the pop yeah, up color the, the stupid bit yeah <laughs> but uh yeah it is a funny looking bit of kit but no i love the fact that they've uh they were like gold dust for so long he held out he held out he ummed he hard literally the moment he takes the plunge on one everyone drops their price they were they were just waiting for him and that makes me very yeah. very happy because he that that'll get him where it hurts he'll be horrified now and what i'm delighted funny? what else is funny pavi I may, I may or may not have one of these Pokemon Go Plus things. Oh, for <laughs> <goodness sake. laughs> oh, Pavi, you wonderful human being. These things that are like gold dust. I found one. Oh, they are great. They are really, really good. It seems I've, all right. It's, I have... Um, I mean, why not Why not double down? And while he's not here, let's have a, let's have a chat about Pokemon Go. Because why not? Um, but I have been using this thing all week. I've had it. It came this time last week, so I've had it a full seven days and don't i know <laughs> yeah the anna is a little annoyed that you can't turn off the vibration on it apparently there is a way to open up the back and turn it off by hacking at it with a screwdriver but oh. i know i know i'll break it if i do that um but yeah anna doesn't like the fact it vibrates every five minutes because we basically live on top of a gym so i've just had this thing on like oh right, oh, it, right. not not 24 hours a day because i am sleeping overnight to get the benefits of sleeping with it i get pikachu singing me a lullaby on it every night um and then it then it sleeps and i wake it up in the morning and pikachu sings me my morning song i'm like, already part of my daily routine but the rest of the day it is on constantly so every five minutes it's spinning the gym at the poker stop uh, at the sorry the, the poker stop at the gym and anytime anything spawns near our house it's catching that i've been it's encouraged me to go out on walks i've been going out on walks to use this thing but just using this for the last seven days i must have i must have done two and a half million xp in seven days really it's i I was stuck on level 38 for like three or four years um because it was just it's the gap between level 38 and level 39 was so big and i was only halfway through when i got this thing and i leveled up a couple of days ago and i'm already a million xp into the next level now so it must be two and a half million xp in a week just from leaving this thing doing its thing all the time just spinning the poker stop catching the pokemon i'm catching probably three or four hundred pokemon a day and just they're being slung out into the trash and barely even looking at them uh it's uh yeah if you wanna if you if you are still even remotely interested in pokemon go seven years later uh this absolutely puts a rocket up it and is uh, a wonderful piece of kit i am enjoying it very much and i am completely back in all in on pokemon go i can say that safely with sheepdog not here that you know how I go on obsessions with these games, and I'm very much in my Pokemon Go obsession at the moment. Go Fest next week could not come at a better time. I'd agreed to do that before I'd even got back into playing it again, just because Sheepdog needed someone to stop him walking out in front of a bus while he was looking at his phone. The problem we've now got is we're both going to be looking at our phones, so we might yes. walk out in front of a bus. But um, yeah, I am. I'm hooked again. I I love it, and it's all thanks to this little vibrating really loudly vibrating yes. disc yep i found that as well i <laughs> i i like it a lot I, i've used it for a few days while i've been at work and good lord i have am i like every couple of seconds i'm having to I'm, it feels vibrating pushing the button uh-huh. it doesn't care and i'm like did it catch i don't know 
Did it catch? You know, it's vibrating again. Do it again. And I've had to upgrade my bag because I've oh, run yeah. out of space. Oh, yeah, I've had to do that, yeah. I'm like, oh, <laughs> well, I've just, I'm, just, I'm just churning through. I mean, if Sheepdog did the thing where you, you look at your friends and you check at the achievement things that you get and he claims things, you think, why is what, something's going on there with Pab? Because there's something, he's, he's checking off a lot of boxes all of a Oh, sudden. yeah, I've been the same this week. I've been, because I had that thing with him as well. I've been checking off all those boxes. He just, he sent me a pic a picture earlier in the week of just me and him now being lucky friends with i think he just wrote well 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 and a picture of us being lucky <laughs> friends because uh yeah i he's noticed that i've been playing it a lot but i i, I wonder if he's got one i haven't asked him i wonder no. if he's it's it's the sort of thing that you know what he's like he'll spend the next three years deciding whether or not to buy one and then when he finally decides to go and get it they'll they'll be out of production again because that's what's happened with the previous two versions of this i mean within three months of them existing they've been impossible to buy yeah i mean i looked when you mentioned it i was and i looked initially and was like no they don't they're not even in stock anywhere um and they're just not in say on in anywhere at all. And then I just randomly saw one day that they had him in Argos. Yeah, I was going to say Argos is the place. And and I, I don't know why, but my mum happened to be going to Argos to collect something, and I went, "Let's have a look for this while you're there." And yeah, there you go, got one, brought it to the back. I was like, "There you go." I was like, "What the hell?" Well, if you're feeling like running yourself a little cottage industry, um, they're currently going for eighty nine ninety nine on Amazon. And yeah, they're forty nine ninety nine in Argos. So yeah. <laughs> go and, go and buy Argos's full stock and get them all on Amazon. Yeah, I am yeah. genuinely tempted to buy myself a second one just in case I break it, lose it, get I it mean, wet. I'm I love lie. it. It's so cool. I have lost. I never lose anything. I have lost the ball and I have lost the the wristband. I still have the ball. Immediately. I had two of the wristbands. Because I broke my first one, uh-huh. and I've lost them both. I don't know where I, I don't know what happened to either of them, but I, I do. St- the ball either. is on my desk now. I was still losing. I was still using my ball the day the yeah. the little disc one came. I like I like how it, the picture made it feel like I'm going to be carrying something that's round that's like the size of a tax disc. <laughs> it's, it's not that big. I thought it was going to be massive, like like a small plate. Yeah. But no, it's not that bad. It's it's quite nim quite like slim and it's, it's good and yeah, it's how good. awesome is it that you can literally just sling it in your bag and you yes, don't need to it touch it again pocket. for the rest of I, the day I, because I if it pocket, disconnects yeah. you just press the button on your phone it reconnects it can yes. catch automatically for you as well you can literally this is why i've done this is why i'm catching three or four hundred pokemon a day because i'm literally just turning it on and forgetting it exists other than when anna says can you stop that vibrating because <laughs> i I've, i can just zone it out completely but it ruins yeah. anna um but yeah that's the only time i realize it still exists yeah because yeah. anna's yelling at me about it but it's annoying. just <laughs> I, I know um sheepdog said last week when we talked about it last week she was like i've, I've put it on my birthday list like he does <laughs> I mean, did you hear about this the other week where he messaged me saying, "I find it rather strange that your your uh, list is private, your wish list is private." I'm like, I find I find it rather strange that you're looking up other people's wish lists. Oh yeah, he goes through mine. I'm so like, every, I'm, every now and again, he'll question something that's on mine. I'm like, yes, well, that's the reason you, I st- I've turned mine. Why private. do you know it's on there? You weirdo, stop yeah, looking. He's like, he's like, oh, you're looking at this, are you? I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> He's like, on your wish list, I've seen it. I was like, right, I'm, that's going private. I don't, I, I, that's nothing, I don't give a monkeys. It's just these weird, just, it's like for someone rooting through your basket at your supermarket going, what have you got in here then? Yeah. Oh, I fancy he... a bit of that. Where's, what aisle's that on? I mean, it's that, it, it really is levels of desperation when you're so, you're so unable to decide what you want that you're looking at what other people want to try and work out if you want it also. <laughs> Yeah, it's spectacular. Yeah. But um, we're we're not going to be able to persuade you to get one of these, then, Anna. No, it's annoying. <laughs> yeah, it does, does go pika pika to you. That's now and again. fun, but I could not just sit there going <clears throat> all does, the time. It does vibrate a lot. I mean, it's like I say, it is quite a loud vibrate as well. The amount of times I've reached for my phone, thinking my phone's vibrating. And yeah, it was exactly. in the same pocket, and I've gone. Oh no, no, just the Pokeball thing. Yeah, it's just <laughs> catching Pokemon. I'm looking. I'm looking on the internet now, and it says the only way to stop the vibration is to remove the vibration motor 
or at the very least cut the wires connecting it to the battery there is a tutorial on reddit about how to do it yeah but i'm uh i'm fairly confident i would break it completely if i started cutting wires in it because i'm an idiot but yeah it's a thing that everybody is moaning about to the point where I mean, without Sheepdog here to uh, tell me how awful they are, I assume the Pokemon company and the Antic are the kind of companies who are going to listen to feedback from their user base and want to act in our best interests at all times. I've never heard anything to the contrary of that. So based on the amount of people complaining about this, the logical thing to do would be for them to just sling out some new firmware and give you the option to turn it off because it doesn't, you, uh, doesn't need to be vibrating like this, surely. You looked at the back of this. I shall pull it out the of antics, my pocket The now. antics not in on this at all. Pokemon Company and Nintendo game freaks well, on it. I notice on uh, on Amazon, it's listed as a Switch accessory, not a mobile really? accessory. <laughs> I wonder if this thing's primary purpose is supposed to be Pokemon Sleep. And they've just kind yeah. of backdoored in using it with uh, Pokemon Go. Yes, because and it's, it's kind of an afterthought deal, yeah. for the Pokemon Go thing. I've Thank completely you. given up on Pokemon Sleep, by the way, because this thing, I think I made it like four days into Pokemon Sleep. And um, this thing is rubbish for that because it's so small that you knock it off the bed. And as soon as you knock it off the bed, it stops tracking your sleep. And then it auto turns itself off after however long. So I was picking it up every morning <laughs> off the floor and it was going, um, oh, you only slept for 80 minutes last night. You're not getting any rewards. You're well, I didn't. I slept moves. for the full night, but I knocked the thing off the bed. It comes with a clip to clip it to the bed, but the clip has a quick release on. So as soon as you knock it, it goes <laughs> flying off the bed again. So for its actual purpose, it's absolutely yeah. useless. But as a Pokemon Go accessory, it's great. Yeah, I do move, Anna, but surely that. everybody moves in this. Oh, sleep, no, you, don't they? you move, move. You do I mean, 360s I all night. Yeah, I, I spin throughout <laughs> the night. But people people move. Not like I'm that. sure people no, move. No, 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 no. You move, move. <laughs> I like to move it, move it. Come on, then. Let's have a, <laughs> let's have a, let's have a disco. A no sheep dog disco. But, um,. Yeah, this thing's a great accessory, just not for Pokemon. Have you tried Pokemon Sleep at all? No, no, I meant to because there's a ch there's a challenge in Pokemon Go to do something with your seven days yeah. of sleep stuff. I was like, is, yes, does that mean I don't is. need to use the sleep? Data yeah, you don't just... need. To, yeah, that's separate. To you can do them both at the same time, but you don't need the sleep app to do the Pokemon Go challenge. You just need to literally to tell this device that you're sleeping, and you can do this at any point during the day. You press and hold the button. Pikachu sings to you. You put it on a flat surface. And as long as it's there for, I think it has to be there for at least 90 minutes, you can then pick it up, hold the button down again, Pikachu sings again, and then that's that counts as sleeping. So that's seven days huh. of sleeping in Pokemon Go. You can basically do over the course of a day just by really? telling it okay. you're sleeping for 90 minute chunks. Oh, so I could have done this. Okay, cool. I'm going to do that then. I'm going to do that later on. That's the spirit. Um. Mm -hmm. Pokemon Go aside, I've uh, I've not really played anything else. I um, oh shocker! Well, because I've switched up the way I uh, I mean that, this is this that's is my... a big fat lie. What? Because on a couple of occasions I've played four guys with you. Well, I'm li <gasps> I'm I'm literally segueing into that now, Anna. Aww. Because of the way because the but the new buzzword on my Twitch streams is workflow because i've changed up my workflow and i'm now streaming basically every night because i no longer I, i'm basically a retired gentleman during working hours now and i just do all my work at night stream and do my videos live on stream so during the day i'm just a man of leisure pottering around the place going for my pokemon walks going swimming with anna just basically and like i said way. last week yeah like i said last week still don't feel comfortable just sitting and playing a game during the day um, so my gaming time has been eliminated and I need to I need to flick the switch in my head that makes it okay to just sit and play a game at 11 o'clock on a Wednesday um, because that's now my evening. But at the moment, my brain is lagging behind and hasn't caught up with that yet. But because of that, I've not really played anything other than when I'm streaming. And what we've done a few times when we uh, when we get to the point where we're finishing Football Manager a little early 
is switch over to Fall Guys. We spoke about it a little bit last week, played it a little bit more this week. We're now, people are so used to it, we're pretty much getting full lobbies now, um, playing Fall Guys with viewers, which is very, very cool. Um, the one downside to that is I'm no longer winning or getting to finals because there's too many people involved and they're all practicing at it. But um, I yeah. did notice Anna kept getting knocked out early as well. So me and Anna were both having the the joy of playing the first round and then because we're playing in a private lobby rather than just going straight into your next first round like when you do it in yeah, normal yeah. um we just got we, we, we get to play around and then watch three rounds and then play <laughs> another round and watch three more so that that takes some of the the buzz out of it a little bit uh but me and anna did play some duos didn't we did we did, was that since the last podcast did we talk about that last week i don't think we did i was no um, i don't think so Oh, you weren't? Oh, there you go. Then me and Anna, at some point in the last seven days, sat next to each other on the sofa and played Fall Guys duos, did some ranked games. I went on and got the new Fame Pass because I love to spend money on stuff I don't need to spend money on. We have two TVs next to each other in our front room. Yeah, obviously. People, not normal people, don't have that, Gavin. Well, how do they both play games together? Yeah, exactly weirdos um <laughs> yeah so we did that one night for and i don't know if the community for duos on four guys is just really really small or if it was just a remarkable coincidence but we only played it for like an hour and i got someone on twitter say kev i think i was just on your team on uh on four guys so it was me and anna and some guy who follows me on twitter um were part three of a four-person team and we got through to the final but didn't win, didn't win. I still haven't won a crown in uh, in ranked play. <laughs> but because I've paid for the fame pass, I can now dress as a milk carton, and I think we'll all agree that's more important. I mean... That's right, That's the core of what Fall Guys is really all about, isn't it? Well, I've Dressing up this in since, a silly costume. Since launch, so I am awful at it, because they've changed... I haven't played it in a while. Yeah, yeah. a lot of different things and it's just people must spend hours on this because i didn't even know it's free to, to play now isn't it so I I think yeah so. it's like fortnite in that sense it's just not for kids to get and i i'm i'm such a legacy it. player that i still log into it through steam and people oh, on as well yeah pe- people when I'm, when I'm doing that on twitch like kev you can't do it on steam it's not on steam well i think you'll find i paid good money for this game back in the day so i'm gonna play it on steam where i spent money on it um and log into it that way because i don't i i I, yeah epic launcher it's for children i'm an adult i play on steam exactly that's what that's where we're drawing that line yeah i um i couldn't get my playstation to work with my computer there in fact that was like two weeks ago i should probably look into that my playstation's just sat there like a brick at the moment i don't know if it's broken i probably need to yeah. yeah, check it before the prices go up in case you need to buy a new one. <laughs> yeah, I might, I might just sell it to Sheepdog. He's probably in the market for a cheap one now, just so you can feel like you got a good average price. <laughs> yeah. Um, but that that is that is your lot from me. A little bit of Fall Guys, a hell of a lot of Pokemon Go, and my usual amount of Football Manager. Which, by the way, on the topic of Football Manager, I would suggest at some point in the next month or so based on previous years we should start be getting some features dropping for fm24 which will be very very welcome because this game cycle for fm23 this year feels like it's been a very long one because it was a game that didn't change a lot from fm22 and it feels like i've been playing this version of football manager for a very long time at this point and i am ready for some new features so um fingers crossed when we're back in a couple of weeks We'll have a little bit of that to talk about as well. Or when I'm back, I assume it's going to be the Pab and Anna show next week while me and Sheepdog are off being Pokemon nerds or heroes. Heroes slash nerds in London. I assume you two are doing a a tag team. There you go. Um, <laughs> <what>? <laughs> put, pressure, put pressure on both of them. No, which that's one, not which fine. One, I which one of you is going to host? I just won't do it. Simple as. <laughs> we can host. It's not an issue. I mean, we can do it, and if you want to do it, we don't mind. It's... Me and Sheep Dog could phone in. I mean, we're about to be... We're going into... I can't think of anything major that's coming out in the next... I suppose next week is quite big. Well, what's out next week? And at Baldur's Gate's out next week. I mean, there is yeah. there is a chance if I take 
a microphone with me. If there's hotel Wi-Fi, I can probably join anyway, because I think Sheepdog's actually getting the train home at, like, 6 o'clock. What? I'm just I'm just going to go and sit in my hotel. Wait, what? Because he's it, Sheepdog's not staying down for the weekend. I'm doing poker. I'm doing Go Fest on the Friday, and then on the Saturday I'm at a, a football match in London. So I'm just staying down ah. there. Um, whereas Sheepdog's coming back, so there's a chance he might be back in time for the podcast. And if I can get hotel Wi-Fi, I'm literally just going to be sitting down there on my own on the Friday night, so I could perhaps jump in <laughs> as well. So we might have all four of us there yet. Who knows? Uh, and we can tell you all about GoFest and how I caught more Pokemon than him because I'm the better trainer. He'll love that. I don't think it comes to being the best trainer. I just think it's the luck of the whatever you get. We'll decide that next week based on who catches the best Pokemon. We'll decide if it's skill or not. If I catch the most, it was probably skill. Yeah, but he doesn't have a disc. Well, whose fault's that? They're 50 quid. The exactly. Man... Some people can't afford fifty quid, Gavin. And moment. he's not—he's not one of those people. He could—he can comfortably afford a fifty-pound Pokemon accessory. He's just bought two games consoles on the same day. What did he buy? For a lot more than he actually are now. <laughs> yeah, he got a PlayStation <laughs> and an Xbox on the same day. But he... He's fine. He can buy one of these if he wants one. Do you know what I've just pre-ordered? What? You've just pre-ordered. I, mm. I've just pre-ordered um, the the Dual Sense Wireless Controller Spider-Man Two. Oh, did you find one? Yeah, it's a game. See, I looked at game and it didn't. Oh no, I was looking for the plates. Are you telling me? I've just bought a PlayStation controller a week before there was a Spider-Man one available. Oh no, you've sheepdogged it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's not out yet. You didn't yet. tell me this was coming. It's out yeah, no, on the first, October. But yeah, I've just um, no, the first of September. It's it September controllers. God, it's expensive. Games, I didn't pay that much for mine. No, the the, 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 the controllers are... Hang on, wait, what? It's 70 quid. That's yes. how much the controllers cost. Mine was 55. They're 45 quid now. Good Lord. Why is this one 70 then? Because it's... Because it's a special edition one that's yeah. black and red. And I, hate to get, I, I hate to get the, the plate. future. The, the plates are, are... You can get the actual, you know, the plates for it. Yeah, For the yeah. PlayStation. Can I, I find PlayStation. them anywhere... Can I? Uh, this uh, controller uh, costs the everywhere. same as the game. That is bonkers. Yeah, Absolutely the bonkers. The world's gone mad. I mean, that's, that's fair. My red controller is dead because it's drifting. And I only have a white and pink one now. So. No. Oh, God, you've now put me on this game website. The, get the PlayStation accessory sale on here, the exact um, powder blue one that I got, <laughs> 40 quid on the yeah. game website yeah, now. Yeah. Yep. God, yeah. what is going on? Know, you like you didn't play. pay that, to be honest. Well, no, it was basically a birthday present off my dad, but still. It's like a... I don't know, places should have, like, a fire sale at the minute. I don't know. It's like they're yeah. going out of business or something, isn't it? Maybe they are. <laughs> yeah. Don't Wouldn't say that. that they thing? can't go out of business until they send me this. Because <laughs> I went on PlayStation Direct and they are not available. And I went on Game and they are available. And I quickly put Game will in, be all right. Have you, do you remember Game? Oh no, I don't. I don't try. That's why I I avoid game at all costs. Yeah. Same as Z game and Zavi, I avoid at all costs because they. Uh, don't they say this to me. Me and Anna have pre-ordered an extraordinary amount of Disney Lorcana cards from Game, oh, God, yeah. which are going to be coming first soon. of September, I think. Oh, okay. But we maxed out on the orders you're allowed to place on the Game website on this stuff. <laughs> so um, yeah, I kind of would like them to come, please. I mean, I I, I don't. I've never had an issue with Game realistically the website but the amount of people that have had issues i feel like you guys have had issues with we had the issue with, yeah yeah we there was that one time where they just sent us a box with a statue in and no game inside but it wasn't advertised that way i forget what game that was do you oh, remember recall. that one Anna? that was recall yeah, yeah it was it wasn't advertised as not including the game so we assumed it had the game in it and it turned up and it was just a box with a statue in so and I remember so going into the... Yeah, I went in there and said, where's the game? What's going on? Why are we not getting the game with this? And I think they did give us a copy of the yeah, game, didn't they? Yeah, we they? got a game and some other bits and bobs because, yeah, it was it, it was wrong. They shouldn't have done that. And now, we, yeah, recall with the uh, robots. It wasn't, it wasn't actually a good game, so... It's all right, but, uh, no, but yeah. at least you you should at least get the opportunity to play it and find that yeah, out. That's true. I don't just want to look at a statue. Thank you. 
But they do that now, don't they? There were some other games that was just the standard. Well, I think, yeah, it's, it's become more of a standard thing to do now. But back then, I think I was the first one that did it. And it wasn't advertised that way. So, no. yeah, it kind of caught us off guard. And I imagine there are people who just took it on the chin. But you were furious. So I had to be a big boy. <laughs> It's not yes. like me to go and talk to the man in the shop. No. But yeah, we got we got to find it to play it, but yeah, that was a Hmm. Right. Before you two tell us all about what you've been up to, let's throw an advert in and uh, then you can waffle to your heart's content. Lovely advert, Pabby. You two have sent me down a rabbit hole on the game website now. I'm looking at all the different trading cards they have on here. Did you know you can buy Super Mario Brothers stickers on the game website? This is not uh, this is not sponsored oh. by game, but there's so many different types of trading cards they do now. What, they've basically yeah, become a toy the, shop. Yeah, they basically don't want to sell games because... Yeah, they, they, they've they, got they, a whole section a on toys, market. board games, trading cards... There's more of this stuff being pushed on this site. It's like looking at um, Magic Madhouse's website. They've got so <laughs> much stuff. Well, they don't have this scores quite... anymore, do they? They're in um, Sports Direct. In Sports Direct, yeah, next to the Nikes. You buy a copy of uh, the Spoken. Very, very odd. Well, I might buy myself an elite trainer box while you two are nattering away. What's an elite trainer box? Pokemon. They've still got the uh, it's Pokemon TCG thing. They've still got the Pokemon Go elite trainer boxes on here, which is interesting because that stuff was like gold dust at the time. Forty two ninety eight for a Pokemon Go elite trainer box. I might, I might take the I don't know what I got. Yeah. Yeah. As in forty two pounds ninety eight pence. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's about right. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's not cheap, Kevin. Yeah, these are normally like 45 quid. So yeah. it's, it's it's retail price, basically, for a, a set that was out a year ago and was quite hard to get hold of at the time. So might might have a little dabble. Just a little dabble. Just a, little, a, little, just a small dabble. Well, you're you not went, going about you, your business. You went into McDonald's to get a Happy Meal because there's 15 new Yeah, cards. they didn't have any. Furious. Really? They've got the Pokemon cards back in Happy Meals again. I went into McDonald's specifically, didn't have any. So I'll have what to try again ask? tomorrow. No, I went in there and had a look what the Happy Meals were and they were still advertising the board games that they were doing. I would have asked so they hadn't, they hadn't switched over yesterday. Yeah, but we live in the, the, the butt end of nowhere, so the message <laughs> takes a long time to get through. We've been sat outside a McDonald's here that's been three promotions behind on the Happy Meals in the past when they had those... <laughs> uh, it, our local McDonald's was months after they stopped doing them anywhere else. We could still go and get the little DC mini toy things that they had for a little while because they were still doing them there, even though everyone else had moved on long ago. So, I think McDonald's around here in general are a bit weird. They stick with the promotions until until they run out of stuff. I think the franchise holder around here is a little bit, little bit shifty, a little bit of a rascal. Yeah, just, a little bit of a just rascal. getting rid of any old nonsense that they've got in the back room yeah and he knows these pokemon cards will go for a fortune on ebay as well so yeah, let's not give up. let's not he's yeah let's not give too there. many of these away this will be one promotion that ends the day it's supposed to end <laughs> yeah yeah and you're on okay. a diet kevin aren't you so. i am on a diet I, I was literally gonna go in there get three happy meals and throw the food away <laughs> just to get just to get hold of some of these cards. Well, no, you could have got a bunch of melon slices and a, a couple of bottles of water. Uh, I probably wouldn't have done. I probably would have just got. I would have said, "Which happy meals do you have the most of right now? Give me three of those. Make sure, <laughs> make sure I get the cards in there." There's 15 cards to collect, and they Can't will. Can you buy the toys separately? You used to. I don't, know, to. I don't think. I don't know that you to. can when it's Pokemon cards. Oh. So I think people are so desperate to get hold of yeah. them. I think you get like yeah. three cards in a meal or something. Yeah. I mean, I've I, I, it's not unheard of for me to go and just buy them all on eBay. You are ridiculous. <laughs> I like ridiculous. to have the things that I like to have. You're a ridiculous man, Kevin. Though you say that I did buy a massive um, beanbag this week, so... Yeah, that's ridiculous. It's like how a big a beanbag are we talking here? How, how oh, big so big that when the doorbell rang <laughs> and I opened it, 
the box blocked out the sun and the postman just laughed at me and I couldn't get it through the door. That's how big we're talking. It's so big. You have to open it outside. Yes. <laughs> it's massive. It's quite funny. But I like squishmallows because, like, for my head. So I bought this of this one. It's not not branded as Squishmallow, but it's like the material, and I just sit in it, and it's so comfortable. Oh, like I'm thinking about it now. I'm not on it now, obviously, because they rustle. Um, oh, I should call it Russell. That's its name, Kevin. Um, okay. And put it in front of the where I sit on the sofa and just put it on the floor and just. Sit Are you blasting it. a fan at your microphone again? Because all we can hear when you talk is microphone. It's it's, no. uh, it's fan noise. I think it, it's off now. Is it off? Uh, just talk some more. Is it off now, Kevin? That's uh, uh, not really. Dave's next to me, having snores. There's just a lot of background noise when you're talking. It's Is weird. It bad now? It's less bad. It's still. Cu- Don't worry about it. Carry on. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, so I have a massive. Oh, that's much better. Well done. Whatever you just did, much better. Carry on. I sat up. Well, there you go. That's what you needed to do. That's fixed it. <laughs> Yeah, so I have a massive um, bean bag that is squished my low inside. Because I did buy a flav, flav, a flav, no, a Valerie um, like pillow um, that goes around your waist for gaming, and that doesn't help. I just use it as a pillow um, with Dave. So now I've bought a massive bean bag to game with because I'm getting old and I need support all. My bits need support, not just my butt. I need a um, full body sinking, so that's now my gaming chair, and it's delightful. It's um, humongous. So yeah, that's what I've bought this week. Also, I've I'm on a I'm on a um, I don't know what to play, so I'm playing everything. Um, You're playing everything. Yep, yeah, I've started. Oh, and you've bought two games today, or tried to. Yeah, I've bought, I've bought. So I started playing God of War from the start again. Twenty nine, um, twenty. The new one, Ragnarok. Eighty. Ragnarok. Okay, Ragnarok. you started again. Yeah. Okay. Because I'm just in one of them moods. I started that again. Played it for, I don't know. I got to the big like icy desert thing with the with the uh jellyfish in. And then I stopped. And then That sounds right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then I installed uh the Elder Scrolls online, played it for an hour, turned it off, deleted it. Um then I inst- Wow <laughs> Then I installed Red Dead. Um and- What not two? A two. Two, and, okay. Um, just, I didn't start from the start, I just loaded it and I was practically at the start just after you go and rescue Sadie from the mean men. Um, and now I'm in mm-hmm. Horseshoe Overlook or whatever it's called, like the first area. Um, and I am wanted over there because I hit, I knocked someone over with my horse. <laughs> Oh. And, and my horse went over a cliff because I was running away from a bear because um, I went the wrong way and decided to go, oh, what's over there? Went over there and there was a bear and um, I ran away and I ran off the cliff with my horse. Thankfully, I had horse medicine, a uh, horse reviver, and he had just him off and he was all right. Um, I've got shot by the police a lot. Um just being a rascal, as you do in, in Red Dead. Um, so I've been playing that, and then I've also been playing Pik- Pikmin 4, uh, well, got last oh, week. okay. Didn't install, didn't put it in my Switch until, like, Thursday, just because I was busy doing other things. You know how it is. You think, uh-huh. I'll do this, and then you just do other things instead. So I've installed that. Um, Pikmin 3 came out so long ago it came out on the wii u pikmin 3 it's pikmin mm-hmm, 3 mm-hmm. very old um and i have it on i still have the wii u version somewhere i know i do because i gave it andy and andy didn't want it 
and I also have it on the Switch. So I've been playing, I've dabbled in three, but I didn't really get into it. I found it too hard, number three, but four, they seem to have simplified it down. So, like, you have, in, in four, you have a dog. You have a uh -huh. dog that you can ride around on. Um, and if you ride on him, your Pikmin will also hang on the side of him and they will be with you. So, like, you can just take all your Pikmin and go where you're going. Because sometimes they get stuck. And if they get stuck, they cannot, they don't know how to pathfind to you in a, because, like, sometimes you've got, like, hazards like water or fire. And sometimes they will just, like, straight line it to you and go through them hazards and that then they die obviously and then you have to go and replenish them which takes time but this time everyone can see with you which is good um the day and night cycle is um it, it's what's the so basically you have you've got morning till night you can't be out at night time because there's like critters that will eat you so it's like a a minute and that like an hour is like a minute and a half ish. But if you go on the ground, because like you'll find like these like d like dungeons, the time doesn't pass as fast as if you were on the top. So they're like dungeons. They have like multiple like sub levels, and it's all like puzzly. So that's that's quite cool that you're not like trying to get through this level because you need to get back to your spaceship because of night time. Your time slows down, which I like because no one wants to rush. Um, you get to go to... So when you're in an area, your area is quite a large plot. And obviously, like, you've got to collect... So basically, you collect treasures. Like, I've collected a Game Boy Advance and a watch and... Um, what else is there? a ball because all the all these treasures give you like your energy to make your ship do more things because obviously you need to get off because you've crashed on a planet where pikmin live and you need to go and find your captain but now i've been going like so basically it was like four people i had to go and find yeah there's more people there that shouldn't be there so you there is a lot because i thought oh four people that's not a very long game but there's other people that are there that shouldn't be there so you're also rescuing them so i like and they all do different like missions like one of them is you need to go and collect some flowers and then he will give you some shiny blocks to go and build whatever um you you can train your dog so like your dog can get into fights can drag um cuz like basically you have to like say you find i don't know there's like these flowers that have like pucks in them and whatever puck that colour is, you drag it to like the onion. I know these words sound weird, but this is how it is. You drag the puck to the onion and then that onion will give you Pikmin. But some of these pucks can be like 10 and you need 10 Pikmin to pull it and like your dog can pull like half of it and then you only need five Pikmin. I know it sounds very weird, but mm. I like it. But like... Yeah, each area, you've got, like, obviously you've got some who's over here, some who's over here, but you don't, because of the time limit, you don't want to be going to the other side of the map and then having to carry whatever all the way back. So the map has different places where you can um, put your base so your Pikmin haven't, don't have to drag it, like, all the way across the, the map because they don't like to, they can't pathfind very well if there's an obstacle in the way. It's just like oh no your pikmin don't know what to do and i'm like just go round but yeah they don't so it's good that you can move your ship around so they don't have to do that but yeah it's if you've played pikmin before it's just very colorful it's like time management it it's pikmin like it's a very strange game but i like it because it's cute and kevin comes in and goes what's that noise and Kevin likes mm -hmm. the noise, but doesn't like the game. Do you, Kevin? This is correct, yes. <laughs> I like the idea of Pikmin, but I never play the games. Have you not? I'm not it, against it, though. No, it's... it's a, it's a like There's a massive following for Pikmin. It's ridiculously mm. big. Um, oh, yeah. 
like Andrew must like Andy, he plays it and he has no idea what's going on, but he likes to go and find something and then um throw Pikmin on it because you literally are just throwing animals at at things and it's <laughs> it's quite funny. But there's like there's challenges in there, like there's this like they have this thing called I don't know what it's called, but they have um it's a word that means like you're good at, at the time management and how to get your Pikmin. So like you could like send te- 10 Pikmin over there to carry that puck, but then you can send 20 Pikmin over there to carry a controller back to your ship. So you've got like two different teams doing different stuff and obviously you have to do it in the daytime. But you, like even if you don't do... Cause like sometimes you have to uncover stuff, so like you have to get out. Say you did get out and you didn't collect it, you just like go away, come back next day, and it's still there, unburied, and you just collect it and take it back to your ship. So, yeah, I've been playing that, and then today, I got, I got, oh my god, what's it, Illusion Island, Disney's Illusion. Illusion. Oh, it's supposed to be good. Yeah, I got that today. So it's a four-player platformer. I played it a little bit. Obviously, I was out today. Got it like late this afternoon. I uh, played it for about an hour. It's like Ori, and you know Ori. Yes. It's Metroid like Vania, them. Isn't it? Pardon? Metroidvania. Isn't it? Here he goes. You <laughs> set him off. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but what? Like uh, Ori or? Yeah, it's very much like Ori. So you you can play this as a four player co op. There's obviously you've got your Mickey, Minnie, uh, Donald and Goofy. It mm-hmm, is four mm-hmm. players. So obviously I don't know how a four player works, like if everyone has to have the game or you can play four player with like different controllers in one screen. I guess. Yeah, I that's imagine how locals it works. Local, I imagine locals on her, but I don't yeah. know about on like um, this. So... so you can pick who who you are. I, I am obviously Donald because He's so angry at things because they were supposed to go for a picnic. There's no picnic and now he's like in a mood. I wanted to say a different word, but I'm not. But he's very furious that there is no food and there is no picnic. And But money was mentioned to do, to help these this, what was going on. So he's back in. So, um, yeah, they're all stylized. They're not what you see like in disney movies they're no they're, they're based on the new animation aren't they there's this new mickey show for out on the disney oh, okay. network whatever it's, it's based on the animation on okay. the new disney show from what i've heard well you know who it's, they it's are. different yeah. yes it's, it's, it, 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 it's, it's not your traditional mickey mouse and minnie and what have you it's very it, it looks very different it's a very different style to you mm-hmm. to those traditional characters um so yeah you 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 basically all meet up on an island and like under the roofs of a picnic there is no picnic and then the, these bunch of little dudes come out saying oh my god help us our three things have been stolen by so and so can you go and get them and you're like yeah i can go there them and then it starts and I was like this I was bored at first but this is how these games start they are boring because you've only got like the one power so the first power I got was everyone gets like a different thing so the first one was um like a double like a double jump um mm-hmm. and mine mm-hmm. is a rocket so I jump at the top of my jump I also press the button again and a rocket comes out just to give me a little boost over where I need to get to, but like um, Mickey had a um, oh god a jetpack, and Minnie had an air like a paper airplane. Goofy had like a pepper to like a hot pepper. So they're all different. So that's quite fun. And then like I got my second one where I could like so I've obviously been going through. It's like Ori. Um, you have to go and find keys. Obviously, there's like puzzles to get the key so you have to like jump you can't there's like plants that will shut and eat you there's enemy i've not found any enemies that i have to like hit yet i have to no just i don't jump think i don't them. think that, 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 that i feel like you don't have any sort of weapons or any any form of attack no not we're well, not at the moment it's only just, like it's only just like you only have your jump ability from, yeah. from what i've heard i've not seen tons on it but no, I, I yeah, literally saw it like two days ago. I was like, oh, I didn't know it was coming out so soon. 
Um, but now I have a wall jump, um, and my wall jump is with a plunger. So I plunge, like put my plunger on the side, and it goes plop, 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 and that's quite satisfying noise. Um, but yeah, I'm just jumping over enemies. But the way I heard, like the the at the start when I was talking to these, I don't even know what they were. They weren't people. They were like these things, like they were like a triangle but fluffy. Um, you can use a magic spell, but you have to daze them first. But I've not found anything that I have to hit yet. So I'm just obviously just going through it. I've basically been down, found a key. Well, found you have to find three keys per door. Um, and then I, the two doors I've been through, each one gives me my special abilities. So now I'm in like the treetops and doing up there. You collect these little like sparkly things and they open um art that's in in the game i don't get why people why they do that but you can open like um um classic art like steamboat willy and stuff like that um you find postcards of like the characters in the game and there's like obviously you go in through and you can find like a secret wall and then the wall disappears and you go in there and do your puzzle. It Yeah, it's just a basic, at the moment, platformer and it's it's like a paper craft world. It's it's fine. It's 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 all right. Like I, I thought Disney games had shut down, but they've brought out Dream Night Valley. This has come out. There was something else. I can't remember what it was, but... They seem to be coming out of of the shadows again because they shut it all down. They had that Disney Infinity, didn't they, with all the little characters? Yes, and with stuff. all the uh, Toys to Life stuff. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that 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 that's. Coming I'm wondering out. how much Nintendo had a hand in this, but it's only on the it's only on the Switch. It is only on the Switch. Yeah. So I'm wondering whether Nintendo. Maybe part funded some Maybe. of this or something like Maybe. that. Um, Possibly. Isn't isn't Nintendo World in a Disney park or am I completely off? No, it's in a Universal Park. It's oh, in the oh, okay. So yeah, yeah. They, they've they're with they're in the uh, in the pocket of uh, Nintendo at the moment, which I'm not like mad about. Like it's a Switch, no. which is lovely. Can't go wrong. Um, yeah, but that's it. But now I've got my thinking because i saw Baldur's gate 3 was coming out like in a couple of days but only on pc that's why I yes asked, asked kevin if they could get a pc on the tv but i've been looking at it and thinking that like i like that studio because i love original the Divinity Sin. games yeah yeah but i've been looking at it and thinking that looks a little bit above where i'm comfortable playing games it's like it's like a um, D and D tabletop, but game form, and I'm like, I've never played D and D in my life. I think I'd, be I'd lost. give it a look. I would, I would well, yeah, watch some videos there's... on it and see it, see it when it comes out, and then see if it. Yeah, there's the it PCs might. out on the third of August, and then I think on the sixth of September there's a P- play, yes. uh, PlayStation one out. PlayStation version. So yeah. I'll probably pick up that when it comes out, but yeah, it's like. Whoo. Yeah, I wait don't... for the PlayStation version and yeah. watch the videos, and then you got a proper, you got a month to watch, see, see yeah. if it is your kind of up your street. I mean, I, I when I saw it coming out, I thought this is probably for more for Anna than anyone else on this <laughs> show because because uh, I know it's a divinity get people making it. I so. love, yeah, I love that they're so they're just funny, like they have funny quips in them. But apparently, it's been in early access for three years. Yes, um, that's yes. a long time to be in a in that so obviously they've got all the kinks and whatnot out of it so yeah 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 i'll have a look at it um when it comes to playstation i just i have my pc is buried in a room somewhere and it wasn't in the best condition when i packed it away it was um it was lagging like technology moves far too fast yes Um, it does also this week i've been on the hunt for Oh my god, for a twenty-year-old console, because my son is annoying. Um, um, so twenty-year-old. Let's let's, let's try. <laughs> hang on a minute. Let's, let's try and work out. Do the maths, Kev. Oh, no, you know, you know Kev what it is. I know. Yeah, twenty years ago, 
10 years ago would have been say 15 xbox one 20 yeah so 10 years before that would be what 2000 and what three yeah around that time yeah so that would be gamecube xbox time um, playstation come, 2 come a bit forward tiny bit xbox oh 360 no. I think handheld. <laughs> oh, we're going handheld. Yes. Uh, so what we're we going with Game Boy Advance? No, nope, bit more forward. forward DS. Yes. Yeah, it's me. Oh, of course. Yes, the DSs were around two thousand three, <laughs> weren't they? Yeah, Ugh. that shocked me the other day when Kevin said that. I was like, "Excuse me, no, they weren't." But yes, yes. Trying to, my yeah. son. So I said this in a in a room full of women in their late thirties yeah. who all have kids who had them when they were little, and they all looked horrified <laughs> that it was so long ago. I, I was very proud of myself to horrify all those women in one go. It was great. Yeah. You're so mean, Kevin. She was talking about that today, and I was like, I know he does it all the time. He's so annoying. <laughs> um, so yeah, I oh, my son's fell out of his Xbox. Um, he he threw it out a window, smashed it all up. Does not want to have any association with it. He's got a new one, brand new. Um, it's been on once when I installed it in his um in his room and he won't play it anymore um so for the past couple of months he's been on his uh ipad and whatnot and then the other mm-hmm. day he turned around to me and goes tinkerbell i said excuse me tinkerbell on ds <sighs> okay so my my so son, my son's annoying because each ds he's got a multiple of ds's but each DS only is allowed to play one game, and the one. Oh, so it's a, it's one. It's a, each system has. Is yeah, it's, only has yeah. One it's got it's got it. like eight DSs, each with a game in. Each has a game in it. <laughs> That's why the switch hmm. is. Yeah. Oh god. So I found his white. He wanted the white one, um, with Tinkerbell, and I was like, oh, for goodness' sake, Andrew, really? So I bought him. I bought him a Tinkerbell game. Um, off eBay, like five pounds. Um, cheaper shit. Fair enough. Great. Yeah. Found his like white white DS. Uh, the bottom screen has got a crack in it and is all black. Ah. So it doesn't work. Um, but he does have a blue one, like a nice, like baby blue, lovely works. D- uh, like, but we don't have a charger for them. I was like, for goodness' sake. So he's got. <laughs> So he's got so he's got a white and red 2DS. Doesn't want to use that. He has a black and blue uh, f- clamshell DS, like a newish one. Doesn't want to use that. Has this blue one, wants to use that, but has no um, wire. And his white one is dead. And, the, oh, my God, I had to spend £50 on a box DS from CEX. Thank God CEX, CEX exists. And I've, I've, I found... So we had this little um, DS case. You know when you could, like... You get, like, these little travel cases and you just put your, your Square Games in and then yes. clip it and you could take it. I found the one that had Tinkerbell in that we've had for about... 10 years i just it was in it's been in ah. our car it's been transported <laughs> it was in our first car we got it went into the second car we got and now it's been transferred into the. it just sits in the pocket i don't know why but i just put it in there and i was like oh my god i know where that is so we've got tinkerbell went to him the other day went okay there's tinkerbell no I don't want to use it what because he wants the box because he wants he wants the uh, the manual, and then so I was like, "Fine, whatever. Don't don't use it. Use it. I'll buy you a new um, charger for the what the blue DS. Whatever." I went there today. He no longer wants Tinkerbell, the game I bought him today. He no longer wants the white DS I bought. I spent like fifty pound for because he's playing the old Tinkerbell on the blue one. And everything is right in the world. I hate children so much sometimes because he was adamant the other day. He was next to having a full breakdown about not being able to play it, but now he's fine on the blue one. 
children, honestly. But for like your old console, CEX is like the holy grail. I swear to God, like I've bought from there recently. I've bought a DS. I've bought PlayStation controllers. I've bought Move controllers from them, and they have been like excellent quality. And they send charges because like. I remember when DS has started not coming with charges. Like, what was that? Yeah. What? It, it, well, that's just a money-saving exercise, assuming yeah. that everyone already had them. But, yeah, if you want old stuff, go to CEX. Like, yes, you've got your eBay, but CEX are definitely, like, up there. And they have, like, all the things that you need. But, yeah, children, honestly, it's like, oh, I want this. I'm like, yeah. Let me just get on that for you. Like, honestly, children. But, yeah, that's mm-hmm. that's my week. Over to you, Pab, because I have just rambled about nothing. So Welcome right, okay. to the podcast. <laughs> yeah. um, so, potentially for one last time, um, Final Fantasy sixteen. Ugh, yep. It's done. It's finished. <laughs> Probably the best game of the year so far. No. No, no, Anna, you no. need to play this game. Uh, I just got so bored with it. It is. It ramps up to crazy proportions at times. And I didn't know what it was that was going on. <laughs> but having listened to podcasts when talking about this, everyone says it goes so Final Fantasy the more and more and more you go into it. And I didn't know what that meant because I've never played a Final no, Fantasy exactly. game before. But, yep, it is bonkers. It is bonkers. And I've never, I've never like, jumped up and down a a video game before in glee of something happening. (laughs) But I did in this. Okay. Um, I've never, just, the, 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 the boss fights that just get more insane the more and more you play with it. The story gets, keeps on going. It's, there's, it's not necessarily predictable. There wasn't a ton of twists it in it, was, but it, though, but it, it does. I was just it, like, it was going on. I was like, I I know who the second one is. Um, that's not hard to work out. Oh, now I've got yeah, this is happening. It just I got so bored of it. And what so you annoyed. need to do is is not play the side quests. Not the side. There are. <laughs> I, I will give them this. Certain side quests, I said this, I think I might have said this last week. There are certain side quests in that game which are very, very, very good. But the majority of them are just random people who want you to go and ferry some, do some busy work for them. Yeah. And, but the the odd one is, is well worth doing. And I hated the fact that I did miss some things. I clearly did. Um, I did all the, all the, pos, the plus quests, which are the, Side quests that have like a plus symbol on them, which means you get something significant from it. So I'd maxed out all my potions, maxed mm-hmm. out the the amount you could get, how how well they worked, um, all them different things. Got the chocobo, and other than that, I just kind of skipped it and pushed for the story. I I started doing the side quests again until I realised what it, what it required. Because I thought if it requires a side quest to be done. For the platinum, there, there came a point in this game where I thought I, I kind of want to platinum this game, and then once looking at looking up, I was like, never mind, never mind, because oh, okay, you have to complete enough. it. You have to complete it again in Final Fantasy mode, which you unlock at the end of the game, which is a, a it's it's pretty much new game plus with even harder difficulty. And seeing as I played it on really? story mode, Jesus. yeah, yep, yep. There is a there is a trophy I think for doing a boss battle and not getting hit. <laughs> I'm like, well... Not going to get that one. I was like, well, I just, I'm just writing that one off. I'm not, yeah. I would have liked to have got the Platinum for it because I enjoyed that game so much. And if I enjoy a game to that extent on PlayStation and it's not that much of a chore to do the, do the Platinum, then I would do it. Mm. But I'm not playing through that game. I, I will play the, through the whole game again when it comes to PC because it'll eventually come to PC probably yeah. next year, I imagine. But I'm not just going straight back in and playing it over again on the PlayStation. No, I'm not doing. Not even no. on a not on a harder mode. It's not worth it. It's really not worth it for what it is. But yeah, I had an absolute blast going through it. It was so much fun, 
and it is yeah it it is like I say it, this story is just so good and it's it's I don't know there's just so many different things to it and it's <laughs> insane and like I say it, it there are it, it it goes a little heavy on Game of Thrones in the initial bit like the demo and stuff mm. and then it lets loose of that a, a lot and then it starts going Final Fantasy stuff. There's a lot of stuff about. Yeah, I I missed, I missed it being, the Final Fantasy I know. Yes, um, well, I, 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 this is the thing you see. I, every everyone says like, oh, it it, it 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 ramps up the Final Fantasy the more and more and more you go into it, and mm. I I totally see that. I knew I didn't like I say I didn't know what I was looking at because I don't know what a final I don't know what the Final Fantasy is that I'm going to be looking for. Yeah, no, no. but it, it's there. It's this. It's, it's I know. I know. No, I know. <laughs> um, and yeah, as it stands, it's probably the probably my game of the year. Um, I, I, pro- I like I say, I probably don't need to play any more of it now. Um, no. I think if I remember rightly, it's gonna it, it spits you at the end, uh, like on a save before you know, yeah, before the final battle sort of thing. Um, so I finished that, um, and then. I have gone hard on Diablo Four this week. I have, yeah, it's the new I have, season, isn't it, or something? The, well, yes, the new season, which requires you to have finished the game before you can play the new season. Really? Absurd. Wow. Yes. So I and I was on. I was in the middle of Act One. Yeah, I've <laughs> and there barely are five acts. Act Two, I think. Yes, yes, there are five acts, and I have hammered this game. Even not even that much realistically because i haven't because i'm about halfway through act three <laughs> but i think i'm i don't think that's bad to be fair considering i was i wasn't even through act one and i've How done many all of it five Jeez, okay um you get the horse in four so the game will speed up eventually oh, lord four like i yeah. can remember playing this game on launch and people had horses yeah people are maniacs wow. um so yes you'll get the horse at four and then I will start into a new character for season. I think I'm going to be so burnt out on it by the time I have mm. I have done this. I'm not going to want to play the season stuff, but I'm going to have to make myself um, play through the season of stuff. And then I found out that once the season ends, it then gets put into the into the story mode. So your character isn't just deleted. Oh, okay. It just gets put into story mode. So I don't feel as bad about that. If it just got wiped, I'd, I'd be a bit annoyed if, if I got like a really good build or something and mm. then... It just it just went boom gone. No, it just, it just moves off the season realm and then it goes into the adventure realm or whatever the story realm, whatever oh, okay. it is. So you can you can then carry on playing the character as that. Um, so yes, I will continue to hammer through Diablo Four. I will I will try to. I'm hoping to have it finished by next week. Who knows? Who knows? Because other things come up and end up playing. Yeah other games and what have you but i i have i've not hated what i've played i really haven't um but i am solely i've dropped the level difficulty level down Mm -hmm. and i am playing solely on what is it world tier one and just 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 absolutely just just laser focus for the for the main main story i'm not touching any side quest stuff at all not worth my time right now and I know people are shouting, but you're renowned and all this stuff because you get renowned for doing quests and renowned for something, you know, end game stuff. Mm. And I'll that'll get to that when when I get through the, the main story stuff, and I will. Um, so I'm level thirty five now. Um, I think I was twenty seven when I started on. I think it was last Saturday when I started proper going for it. So I've I've moved up quite a few levels. Um. So yeah, I do. I, I'm enjoying what I'm playing. Um, yeah, it's not a bad game. I just it's not. I'd miss the old one. I don't know why. I, fe- I, just I feel like this game. I've said this every time, and I've don't. I don't. I this game is screaming out for people to to play in a multiplayer get in, in a multiplayer like fashion, and you sit in a Discord and just chatting nonsense, <laughs> just pl- just just spamming the buttons and just going through it and not really paying attention. Yeah. Uh, it's certainly a gate. It's a podcast game where you don't really have to be switched on. It, you know, you you just going through the motions and just enjoying what you're doing. Um, 
but I find I'm just playing it on my own, and nobody I know that has it, and people people I know have it. Like somebody messaged, somebody saw me playing it in the week, and said, message went, "You all right? What are you doing?" <laughs> so I'm just message me in 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 like Blizzard chat or whatever it was. I don't yeah. know what it was. And I saw they were in Discord, so I was like, what are you mithering me for? He was like, oh, I so see you're doing Diablo. And I was like, yeah, and? He was like, you want to play? I was like, unless you want to come and help me do the story stuff, which you ain't, nobody, everyone's done the story and all playing season stuff. Yeah. I'm just miles behind and no one's going to want to play with me doing that stuff now at this point. So I'm just, just head down into it. That's where I'm just I'm just going for it. Um, So I'm doing that. I'm hoping to have that done now. Uh, I've played a little bit more Viewfinder. I want to finish this game so much because I hear people raving about it and it's oh, very, gosh, very good. Oh, gosh, is that the one with, like, the pictures within pictures from... Yes, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, I've seen someone play it. It's, it's that's very, very good. Yeah. It's very good. Um, I've tried to play it and I got stuck on a level and I put it down <laughs> and I just I just, I just, just need a fresh, fresh pair yeah. of eyes and I need, I need to walk away from it and come back to it and probably do it immediately. Yeah. But I just couldn't fathom, get my head around what it wanted me to do. I I thought I'd figured it out. I thought I'd figured what it, what it wanted me to do. Yeah. But I couldn't quite couldn't quite reach the teleporter to get out of the map, out yeah. of the world. I kept falling off the world to do it. And I was like, okay, let's reset and I'll rejiggle the the pictures to get it just right, so I so I can get up there. Mm-hmm. Could I get it anywhere near like what I did before to replicate to get it to almost get it? Could I? I couldn't get anywhere close. I was like, I'm just turning it off. I'm just frustrated. Yeah, I've watched people do like, you need like three batteries. So they put one battery, take a picture, yes. and then put that picture. So you've got two batteries, and then take that back. Yeah, it's, it is. Yeah. I was like, I had to be awake yeah. to watch it because I was just yeah. like, excuse me. So the, so the, the premise, like you have you have like worlds where you have a picture and you put the picture into the, you put the, you mm-hmm. place the picture and then the picture you can then. The picture like becomes part of the world. You step sort of into the picture. Yeah. Uh, there becomes a point where they're, they're, they're like it's like separate like hubs, and they all have like a set of levels on each hub, uh, and then they all kind of have a different like puzzle dynamic. Um, there's one where you have like a series of like images on slats on yeah. a wall or something like that, and you kind of got a, you've kind of got to line it up in your first person perspective and line it up just right and then it kind of sinks in and then you, then you can step into it um yeah, and then it's like you said mind the, bending. there's one way you there, there's there's a part where you actually get the camera okay. so instead of just just taking pictures that are in the world there is an actual camera oh, that you Lord. can then take pictures yourself <laughs> so then you do you become the person who is solving the problems kind of freestyle then because then you're the answers aren't on the board for you sort of no. thing. They aren't there in front of you. You've got to think out a little bit outside the box and take the pictures yourself. Um, and then sometimes it can be in and out of an eat. Like, you, you can clear an entire yeah. world in, in and out immediately. No problems whatsoever. And then sometimes, like I did, spend 15, 20 minutes on a level and just turn it off because I, like, I just don't have the mentality <laughs> to think what this is. The fact that it had like different art styles as well, that was the art style thing is very oh clever. Oh god, that was when he like mm. when I was watching the video, he was like going through like a sketch and then like pop art and then like, yes, it's like an oil oh painting my god, type it was thing. just yeah. like yeah. beautiful. It's, it's very cool. Yeah, it's very cool. Um, so yeah, I, 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 and you can do it. You, apparently, the game is about five hours. So I'm not I'm not too bad. So it's not massive at all. So which is why I kind of think it's attainable. Yeah, and even if I bang my head against it enough, I'll get through it. <laughs> You'll know. So I'm hoping to have that finished as well by the next time we finish. Uh, and because I finished Final Fantasy, um, <laughs> I finally caved and got Dead Island Two because I really wanted to play Dead <laughs> Island Two, um, and it was twenty five percent off. Not bad. And I was like, right, okay, let's let's play some. So I've played about the first hour of Dead Island Two. Yeah. I like running around and drop kicking things. Yeah. <laughs> That's fun. That's all, yeah, that's all that game is. It's ridiculous. It's just a... It's like... Oh, my God, what the, what's that other one called? Dying Light. Yeah, it's like Dying Light, but funner. It's, but less dynamic and yes. there's no free running. Yeah, um, it, you just go around. Yeah. Who are you playing? Are you playing as a girl, boy? Yes, I'm playing the Irish girl. Yeah, I think each character has different sets, different ability not abilities, but the all the stats are all different on them. Yeah, and there's a reason I picked the Irish girl, and I can't remember now. 
Um, I don't know whether it was... I think it might have been stamina. I think I like the fact that she has a certain amount of stamina. Yeah. Um, and I like the skill the skill system where they're like cards. Yeah, you, yeah. You, your skill tree is like you unlock cards and then you pick one of the one or the other. Yeah. And then you can put them in and then you can modify them cards and yeah. stuff like that. That seems cool. Um, and I like... I don't... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a massive fan of durability on weapons. No, it's uh, always been a but annoyance. It, it, I feel like there's that many weapons that you could at your disposal. Like, right, yeah. I'm complaining about I'm complaining about durability on weapons, but then loving Zelda. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's um, ah, yes. it's uh, that there are I, I, the amount of weapons. I was like looking, going, oh, this this weapon's really good, but it's nearly dead. Yeah, and then you can repair the weapons though. That's something at least. Yeah. Um, but then again, like I say, I turned around the corner, picked up two more wrenches and two pool cues. I was like, well, I've got, I'm not like I'm just punching people. No, no. So, so I've, I'm playing that. It's incredibly gory. It's incredibly gory. I didn't, I've never, I didn't even think about it when I was watching other videos of it, you know, people playing it. And, <laughs> but my word, you are just lopping people's arms and heads off yep. and stomping on heads. And, oh, it was grim, one of them, where you, you stomp, there's like a video, like a cutscene who stomps on someone's head and you're like, oh, <laughs> Ugh, it's like it's like like an Easter egg. Yeah, it's horrible. It's just a, um, a fun, ridiculous game. Yes, yes, it is. It is. Uh, so I'll I will slowly take away at that. I suppose now. Mm-hmm. Like I said, it's what a month. I've got a month until Starfield. Oh, you're um, a month away. Uh, September first. If you are playing the five days early access, which I will be. Kevin, uh, September first, a five day early access. Kevin, just how do I do that? You need the, the I, deluxe I version. I don't know. It I is. think you... does it have to be the digital version? No, you can do any of them. Any of the. No, I, it has to be because it's on Xbox and I only have digital Xbox. Oh well, yes, that that is a good point. Game Pass, but you don't get it on Game Pass. Yes, but it's not five days early, is it? Yes, but I don't know whether... You remember when Forza was on Game Pass and you could pay that 30 quid upgrade to get the, the upgrade to the deluxe edition of that and you got it five days earlier, whether it was. Okay. I'll look so that into might it. be worth looking at. That yeah. might be worth looking into. Um, yes, you would need that, the digital. And then you've got Spider-Man on like the 6th of of September. No, it's, it's October. It's October, Spider-Man. Yeah. Where have I got September 20th of October from? or something like that. Oh, okay. That's I, think, right. I think maybe because the, the, the Spider-Man controller was probably coming out earlier, you there, said before, yeah, didn't you? Yeah. So did... That's probably what it is. But yeah, yeah there's, they... a few, there's a few coming out. We've got... Um, yes. Is Assassin's Creed this year or is that next year? Yes, Mirage. Yeah. So... It's going back to more traditional style of game. No, they need to go back S- to... Not Odyssey. No, yes. Yeah, so no, no, they're going back. They're going to back to more... Well, they're going back back. Yeah, they're going back to like two and three sort of standard style. Of... I'll give like... it a go because I'm I'm holding out on it and waiting until reviews and see yeah. what people say before I jump in on it because I I'm as much as I as much as I hate the fact that the the game is eight hundred hours in Assassin's Creed <laughs> these days. Yeah, uh, I like all the the loot system have you, but apparently there's no loot system in this new one. It's all more like the old one where you have the blades and the blades all just one kill every one shot everything. Oh no, I because, like the, having the weapons. They're the fun. Yeah, I don't, bits. Th- that isn't in it. It's all, it's all oh, more like no. like the old ones. Like yeah. um, what was the last one before Syndicate? Yeah, and the, I don't think Syndicate had like a weapon system. I think Origins brought in all like the the loot based system and all the, the kind of RPG kind of thing, didn't it? Oh, that would be a so, shame. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll see what it's like. That's out this year at some point. Yeah. Um, but anyway, that is a lot. That's everything for today. Well, in that case, we'll wrap things up there. If you would like to follow us on the internet, you can do that at MGUK Podcast, or you can follow me at Lelujo. I'm at Miss Lelujo. And out Pab1986. And we'll see you next week, boys and girls. Toodle pip. Thanks for listening, folks. <laughs>